Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee. And uh, as I said in the full moon for Scorpio for the end of the month, I completely missed the new moon in Aries. And for those that you're following this, um, the new moon in Aries happened a couple weeks ago and maybe it's counterproductive for me to even do this. But um, you know what? In case you guys follow it and want to know what's going on, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the reading and post it. If you guys watch it, fine. If not, you know, I understand. All right. My, my fault for forgetting about it. So the new moon in Aries uh, happened here a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's use of the extra dose of Aries courage to get set bold intentions and uh, during that time. So what bold risk would you take if you knew you would succeed? That's the spread from Biddy Tarot on a new moon in Aries and asks uh, the six questions. What are the next steps to take to bringing yourself into alignment with your true desires? Where can you channel your passion to reap rewards in the next six months? What can you, re what can you become more excited about? How could you be more compassionate towards others? What can you do to bolster your self-confidence and how can you handle conflict more effectively? All right, so cards are shuffled. Um, again, this is for the new moon in Aries. And this first question is, what are the next steps to take to bring yourself into alignment with your true desires? And that is represented by the stag. Where can you channel your passion to reap rewards in the next six months? represented by the world tree so two life lessons cards already what can you become more excited about during this new moon in Aries and that extra dose of Aries courage Knight of Arrows and the Hawk how could you be more compassionate towards others during this new moon in Aries Aries what would it take for you if you knew you would succeed? Ten of Vessels, happiness. What can you do to bolster your self-confidence during this new moon in Aries? King of Vessels, Inherent. A couple Vessels cards. And how can you handle conflict more effectively? The Great Bear, Life Lessons card. All right, so there you have it. Put the cards up so they don't fly away. All right, so to use that extra dose of Aries courage and to set bold intentions at this new moon in Aries, which was a couple weeks ago, what bold risk would you take if you knew you would succeed? And the first question out of the uh, spread that Biddy Tarot put together is, what are the next steps to take to bring yourself into alignment with your true desires? And that's represented by the stag card, okay? Now, the stag is a life lessons card, and you have three of these down here with two vessels. So it's telling me that there's a life lessons going on during this new moon of Aries, and it's going to be, you know, some, there's going to be some emotion, all right, or psychic energy as well, water energy, all right? And, you know, you've got some, some leadership here as well with the king and the knight, all right? So, you know, and, and the stag is a leader, leader card. Um... Now the stag is all about justice. And the next steps you need to bring yourself into alignment with your true desires is to not carry out justice or have justice carried out for you, but just to take that, that truthful aspect of yourself and look at it. And you know, say to yourself, you know, are you being true to what you're what you're doing? And if you're not, then that's where maybe you need to, you know, invoke some justice within yourself, all right? Or take a look at it and say, you know what? In order for me to be aligned with my true self and what's going on, I need to take on the aspect of the stag, okay? Now, the stag is one of those people that, you know, the, the journeyer meets on, um, on the path. And, you know, he tells them that, you know, you have to have some justice in, in where you're walking, all right? See things from uh, a justice point of view, all right? If you take from the land, you have to give back. And that's kind of the message here. So if you're, you know, if you're taking a lot of things from others, 
maybe it's time to start receiving. Okay, if you're giving a lot to others, maybe it's time to receive. All right, and it's sort of that equilibrium of, um, you know, if you cut a tree down, you plant a new one. And it's the same thing within our, when, within our energies. All right, if you deal in too much of those energies, um, you know, whether they're negative or positive, you know, we never have, you never get that positive or negative feeling coming back. And okay, an example on that is if you're, if you're always worrying about finances, okay, you're really repelling those finances away from you. Okay, if you start thinking positively about finances coming into play, all right, that's the counterbalance of that worry. And, you know, then you start manifesting, you know, those finances to come into, uh, into your life. And that's, that's what this stag is representing. That's what this, this justice card is all about, okay? It's taking those next steps to, you know, to bring yourself into alignment, to, you know, let go of the worry and manifest. Or if you're manifesting so much, all right, maybe being generous and in, in, in giving some of that out to somebody else, all right? Because, you know, you could have, let's say you have, you know, an abundance of clothes and it's spring cleaning and you're, you haven't worn something for two years. Okay, what you can do is you can be generous and take some of that abundance and give it to others. All right, you're not worrying about it or anything like that, but you're sharing the wealth that you do have. You know, and that's the next steps to take to bring yourself in alignment with your true desires uh, during this new moon in Aries. Where can you channel your passion to reap rewards in the next month, next six months? Is represented again by a life lessons card, the world tree. Channel your passions into ending those, ending a cycle or ending a project, okay? And, you know, getting for, moving forward to an area where you're not stagnant, okay? Where, you know, the next steps in your development are, you know, to, to help to move forward, and like that stag card, like I just said, but you can channel your passion, okay, towards an ending, all right? And, you know, with this card, the world tree, not only is it an ending, but it's a new beginning. Because once you walk through that maze, all right, the maze that you've been on for this, this quest, you come up to the door, all right? And you come up to the door and the door is gonna be open for you. And the tree represents all the seasons. And once you walk through that, that door on that tree, you're gonna gain the wisdom and the knowledge and the experience of everything that you know has transpired as you're walking through the maze all right and the universe is going to speak the universe speaks to you without even going through the tree but the universe is going to you know ex give you that that confidence to be able to start the next quest as soon as you walk through that tree and start a new cycle of moving forward so you can channel that passion and reap rewards in the next six months by you know looking at where you've come from, putting a goal in front of you and where you want to go, and just go ahead and walk through that door of the world tree, end the cycle and start something new. What can you become more excited about is represented by the Knight of Arrows. All right, now Knights are fighters, tacticians, Arrows is about logic and reasoning. And you can become more excited about the fact that, you know, now that you're you're looking at completing something, walking through that world tree, there's an excitement of, you know, what's laying there ahead of me? You know, what bold risk could, could I could I move forward through through the through that world tree that I just had? Okay. And you know, the Knight of Arrows is all about vision and power. So, you know, with the vision that this 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 uh, this hawk has be able to see things from a great distance, maybe that'll help you set new goals, all right? And the power that he has to swoop down on, on uh, you know, his prey is the same power you should use to, um, you know, swoop in on the goal that you have set coming up for you in the next six months. Now, you know, this Knight of Arrows, this hawk, will also ask you, what do you need to stand up for? So what can you become more excited about? Standing up for something, standing up for yourself, standing up for the goals that you have out there, standing up for this new beginning as you walk through the world tree. You know, and have you checked your information? Have you checked your information on what's what's out there to be excited about? 
You know, you have you have open possibilities with this world tree. Okay, and you know if you check your information and check it correctly, you're going to be able to walk through and use this power and this vision that this Knight of Arrows has, you know, to propel you toward the goal that you have coming up in the next six, you know, six months, and you know when you're following this new moon in Aries. How could you be more compassionate towards others? Ten of Vessels, happiness. Share it. There's more than enough energy there coming down coming down out of that stream you've got so much more happiness you know with what's going on things are going well all right during this new moon in Aries and you can you can be more compassionate towards other by sharing that happiness that's pretty straightforward what can you do to bolster your self-confidence is represented by the king of vessels okay now kings they like to rule the kingdom you know, and this king, uh, this heron, you know, he's about psychic perception as well as the guardian, you know, between life and death. Or between, I shouldn't say life and death, between the realms of life and death, right? You can do more to bolster your self-confidence by taking on this kingly aspect, by, by being in touch, taking on the kingly aspect with your, with your um, psychic perception, your intuition, even your emotions. All right, and this king asks, you know, where do you need to be more tolerant? Okay, so, you know, let's tie that into the, what can you do to bolster your self-confidence? All right, if you can be tolerant of keeping your emotions in check as you're moving forward on, you know, this month or this, you know, during this moon, new moon, keeping your emotions in check, not letting people push your buttons, not, uh, you know, getting mad quickly, you know, recognizing, you know, the emotions that are out there. If you can keep those emotions in check, that's going to boost your self-confidence to move forward. It's going to boost your self-confidence to say, you know what? As long as I keep my emotions in check, I can have a clear head. I'm not making rash decisions, all right? I'm using that Knight of Arrows energy, that Hawk energy, to, you know, be bold and have a great vision and power. And as I'm moving forward, you know, I'm gonna take on those aspects of the night as well as this King of Vessels. And I'm gonna move boldly and I'm gonna take some risks, but I'm gonna think things through clearly, all right? I'm not gonna let my emotions get the best of me. And then, you know, the other question that this King asks is, you know, who is depending on you for support? If you're able to, to ask that question, it takes you out of a selfishness and puts you into a selflessness attitude. Because if somebody's relying on you for support, you're not gonna make rash decisions. You can make bold decisions, okay? But you can also do that in a way where it's thought out, prepared, and you know, giving you a path forward. And then finally, how can you handle conflict more effectively? Is represented by the life lessons card of the great bear. And the great bear is judgment. Okay, you can handle conflict more effectively during this new moon of Aries by not being judgmental. Don't be judgmental of, other, of yourself as you're, as you're going through this and don't be judgmental of others with what's happening, all right? The universe has a plan for everybody. We may not understand it, but who are we to judge what, what somebody else is doing? And it's quick, you know, we're, we're, human beings are very quick to blame others, you know, for their shortcomings, for our shortcomings, you know, however you look at it. But if you can handle conflict more effectively by not being judgmental, that's gonna tie back into that King of Vessels Heron card, all right? You'll be more in charge of your your emotions, which is going to help with your self-confidence. And let's say your self-esteem, too. All right? So there you have it. That's that's the new moon in Aries. Um, you know, we talked about the next steps to take to bring yourself in alignment with your true desires, which is the stag. That's justice. Where can you channel your passion? Knowing that you're walking through the world tree, ending a cycle, starting another. 
taking on that net of arrows that hawk on how you can become more you know what you can become more excited about the vision and the power that he has you know maybe what you need to stand up for or you know checking that information how can you become more compassionate to others sharing that happiness what can you do to bolster your self-confidence taking on that kingly aspect of that heron all right where you where you showing you where you need to be more tolerant and who's defending you know depending on you for support and handling conflict more effectively by not being judgmental all right so there's the new moon aries hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel and share it with others and this is uh, d for the spirits path and we'll talk to you at the next new moon in may take care god bless and stay safe everybody